You were right close to election time. Oh, and don't I know it. I heard a political speech on television yesterday. It was very interesting. Was the speaker Republican or Democrat? I think so. <laughs> well, uh, couldn't you tell by what he said? Well, I didn't listen to him. You see, when I vote, I want to have an open mind. Well, I, I wouldn't open it too much. You might catch cold. Well, I'll be careful. What's that now? Uh, did you ever know that my Uncle Otis ran for city councilman of San Francisco? Oh? Oh, and what a campaign he put on. Kissed all the babies, huh? Well, no, why should he? In San Francisco, very few babies are old enough to vote. <laughs> yeah, well, the climate there keeps the babies young. Of course. Some people thought Uncle Otis wouldn't make a good councilman because he liked to drink a little. Oh? So part of his campaign was to prove he had reformed. Now, how did he do that? Well, every night he went around the neighborhood from house to house. House to house, yeah. And when a man came to the door, he'd make a pledge. Made a pledge, yeah. Yes, he'd say, good evening, friend. This is the last drink I'll ever take, and then he'd take one. <laughs> so? So, after about 20 or 30 pledges, they carried him home. <laughs> on, um, on a stretcher, no doubt. Oh, no, by that time, he was so stiff he didn't need one. <laughs> he certainly had a happy campaign. Oh, yes. Uh, one night, he decided to have a torchlight parade. So we all went to his house and lit torches. Oh. And then we marched around and around. And then he came out on the front porch and made a speech. Was it, was it a good speech? Well, who knows? We didn't hear it. We were too busy helping the firemen put out the fire. <laughs> but at least he tried. And there was a big public debate, and all the candidates for councilmen got up and made speeches. Oh, they made speeches? Yes, they told uh, what they do for San Francisco to make it a better place to live in. Oh, campaign promises. Yes, and the first one got up and he said, if I'm elected, I promise to clean up the city. Yeah. And the next one said, if I'm elected, I promise to stop all crime. I'll bet Uncle Otis top. Yeah, well, he did. He got up and he said, if I'm elected, I promise to move to Los Angeles. <laughs> But he never got elected. No, but it wasn't his fault. You know how you mark the ballot with an X when you want to vote for somebody? Yeah. Well, all we Allens marked our ballot with an O. Oh, O for Otis. No. But with us marking down O's and the other voters marking down X's, it looked like a big game of tic-tac-toe. Did it that? Yeah. And if we could beat the voters at tic-tac-toe, who cared whether Uncle Otis was elected or not? <laughs> Good night.